Hey everybody, so this is the look that I'm going to show y'all how to create today. Um, if this is something you'd be interested in, keep watching. Uh, this is mostly functioning because I would like to give you a tutorial slash review of this palette. This is just off of Amazon, $13.99, not super expensive. I think it's supposed to be a dupe of a Morphe palette, but I'm not sure, but I saw one similar on Morphe's website. So keep watching to see how we feel about this, how easy it works and how well it blends. See y'all in a second. Hey guys, so as always with my tutorials, I've already put on my foundation, Kat Von D Lock It. Um, so I want to try a couple of new things that I've used before, I just haven't used yet on this channel. So this will, as I said earlier, be featuring this palette that I got off of Amazon. It's got some matte, some shimmers, it kind of looks like a Morphe palette. I'm not sure which one, but I know it's supposed to be kind of like a dupe. It's not much cheaper, it's still $13.99. But I'm going to test it out and see if it is worth trying. So, since I've already got all my primer and my foundation, <clears throat> I'm just going to go straight into my eyes and I'll do my contour and whatnot later. For that, I'm going to be using Cody Airspun. Comes with this little puff. I don't like that. So, I just put a little bit in here and I'm going to use this flat, kind of like a blending sponge type thing. And I'm just going to pat some up under here. It has been a very, very long time since I've used any of this or since I've baked my face. This used to be like my holy grail for special occasions, but I lost my package a long time ago. So I went to Walmart today and I picked some more up. Now when I used to use this, I would like literally take it on my whole face and just like beat it into my face. That is not what we're gonna do. I just wanna use it to kind of uh, set this right here and hopefully be able to sweep away any fallout since I don't know exactly how this palette is gonna act. So just in case, because I do have some things to do today, we're just going to put this here and hopefully it will pick up any fallout I have. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to take my trusty BH blending brush and I'm just going to go before I do that because I'm getting ahead of myself, I'm going to put my MAC paint pot. If you want to be more affordable with the kinds of looks like what I do on my channel, um, I mean, you can use any eyeshadow primer. Personally, I've just found that this is like the best one out there. It works the best for me and I know for a lot of other people, if you watch a lot of tutorials, you'll see it mentioned really often. It just sets stuff in really well and helps with pigment and whatnot. It's just an amazing product. I thought it was all hype until I finally got a hold of it myself and it is not hype. It is actually incredible. Okay. So now that we have that on there, we're gonna let it dry teeny bit. Then we're going to go in. I'm going to use this second shade. There's not names on these colors, but I'm going to use this for a transition shade to neutralize that paint pot. And I'm just going to put it here. And it looks like, I mean, it's a, uh, it's picking up on the brush since this is a color, almost the same color as my eyelid. I can't tell you much about pigment. What I think we're going to go for here is kind of a dark halo effect. That's what I want to try to do. So I'm going to take this color. I don't know why this one. I just like it. Pick it up on that same brush. There is some fallout. But it's not horrible. And I mean the palette is relatively cheap. And it is just off of Amazon. So fallout's not too big of a deal. 
it does look like we're gonna get some pretty decent pigment we may have to build it up a little bit but that's okay so what I want to do here because I really want to do the halo effect is focus this on my outer corner and my crease and I'm gonna drag it over but not too heavy just real light and then I'm gonna put some in this inner corner right here I like the halo eyes a lot better because I feel like they're easier to achieve than say like an actual cut crease because those if you mess up a cut crease it's kind of hard to save it but with a halo you have a little more room for error and I'm always always a fan of that because I do mess up a lot so that helps me quite a bit and I do I like the pigment from this I want to focus this tutorial kind of more as a review on this palette and so far what I'm finding is that this pigment is great um, it's blending out pretty well and the colors are kind of blending together really good if you can see that okay so after that color we are gonna pick up the one right underneath it this darker brown it doesn't look quite as dark in cameras in person as it does on my viewfinder like what y'all are seeing it's a really chocolatey brown it's not it looks almost black on my viewfinder um so I don't know if y'all are gonna see the color that dark but it's it's not that dark so we're gonna put this mostly out here I'm not gonna bring this in I have a different plan for the inner corner so just repeat this over here and I'm being kind of rough with it I find for me that I really have to be rough to get my blending done and that's probably just because I need more practice on blending and that's okay um, but I have to be a little rougher with it than some do. I want to be sure that I get this kind of on the lid part of my outer corner, not just the crease. I do have to say my only complaint, I want a mirror. Palettes with mirrors are the best. Okay, so that is going to be dark enough for there. Now I'm going to go in with this color right here. It's kind of coppery. And what I want to do for it is kind of take it, take this in my inner corner. Uh, more so than I did with the brown. And then I'm going, well let me get this done first. And then I'll tell you what else I'm going to do. Can you all see that? That is so pretty. Okay. So we're going to put this in here. And then what I want to do is kind of sweep it up over this brown. Ooh. Yeah, that pigment though. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just focusing it on the inner corner. And then after I've gotten it kind of in there, just sweeping it over the top of everything else. Now, I know this looks messy, so I'm going to take, it's not quite clean, but nothing's coming off of it, so I'm going to take this and kind of blend everything together. And kind of try to calm that down a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Now I'm already almost done. Um, I want to take, oh, they're all so pretty. <sighs> hmm. I think I really want to go with an orangey look today. 
So I'm gonna take this color here, the shimmery orange. Can you see all that shimmer? Yeah. And we're gonna see what it can do. We are gonna take this flat brush with our MAC Fix Plus, spray them. And we're just gonna pick this up and see what happens. We're gonna focus this on the inside, so like the middle of my eyelid. <clears throat> and I may have to kind of dig it out. I probably shouldn't have just jumped in with a MAC Fix Plus, but it just kind of makes everything better. Oh, there we go. I almost want to cut a crease with this, but I'm not going to do it. Can you just see how shiny that is? It's flawless. I really like it. Okay. So then we're going to go right in here. And just do the same, same thing. And you can, uh, I'm just going to pack it on until I have kind of like my desired intensity, which I'm me, so that's a lot. I think one more coat over here and we're going to call this a day now. So that this doesn't look as choppy as it does right now, we're just going to take that lightest, uh, well, that second brown color we used. And we're just gonna bring them around. And this will kind of help to blend this in so that we're not looking at such a harsh line. <sighs> now. The last thing I always do, and this is my little trick that I always use, I'm going to take the slightest peach color. Actually, I'm going to take that same color I started with my transition. I'm just going to pick it up and sweep it up here. This just is kind of a little hack I use when I can't get my blending to go quite how I want it to. And it helps me out a lot. Okay, so what I did forget is I need to smoke out my lower lash line. And I'm going to do that with this one, this one, and this one. So we're going to take that lattice color and we're just going to sweep it under here. And it's going to be really big. That's what we got that translucent powder for, and that's why we have shape tape. Now, since this next color is darker, this is a little more pointed. So we're going to pick it up just on the very end of this one and sweep it under here, too. And I don't want this to be crazy. I'm actually going to dinner later, and I don't need to look too gland, so I'm also not going to be wearing falsies today, just if y'all were wondering. <clears throat> now I need this orange, and we're just going to put it towards this inner corner. So right in this area. Just sweep it a little bit across to add some shimmer. Okay, that's my eyes. So, next step 
is going to be to sweep away this powder if there's even any really left. Um, I definitely need to get some sponges to lay that down with so that there's actually a decent amount of it there. <clears throat> but we're going to go ahead and take our shape tape and lay it here. And we're also going to clean up these edges a tiny bit. Not a lot because we didn't really get out of the way, but just a little bit so that when I do my winged liner, it looks better. So we are going to take this and just dab it out. And I don't think I put enough in this inner corner. It has been a rough weekend already. So put a little bit more there because I got some serious bags to cover. That's better. should pretty much take care of that okay so overall I'm gonna give this little buddy five stars I think for the price and the convenience I did get it with prime shipping so it was in two days which is always good if you need something quick I mean you can make a ton of looks with that everyday looks definitely definitely worth the $13.99 okay so now we're just going to go ahead and contour because it's bugging me. Medium, like always. And I'm going to contour with my oval brush today. I just take it where my little sideburn is and kind of drag a line. Bear with me. I know that looks rough. But it will get better. They're never even. It's okay. It's like that sometimes. <clears throat> and then of course you gotta take it up here and down here. And I'm gonna attempt to do a little bit of nose contour today and see what happens. I am not good at this and if you can't tell I have a huge nose so I need to be good at it. But I'm just not. <clears throat> okay. So what I do from here is I take a bigger oval brush and I just blend. And sometimes this takes longer than others. Um, if I put on more foundation, it's honestly easier. But I went a little light today. Because it has been raining here off and on. And I don't want to just melt off as soon as I walk outside. That just doesn't sound fun. Get my forehead. I'll save my nose for last because that always hurts me a little bit. Okay, I think that's everything blended out, Ooh, except right here, and this is why you always spot check yourself when you contour, if you contour every day, I'm sorry, this will probably take a lot of your time, always make sure <laughs> that you got everything you needed to 
because sometimes I forget and then I walk out the face out with my face like brown line out of nowhere don't want to do that I'm just gonna pop this into my water line and this is just the Bella Pierre I've been using it lately and I feel like it is actually the more I use it the better it works the first time I tried to use it it was just kind of hard and it wouldn't go on but the farther down it gets the better it works and that was just the cap falling off the end and there's that <clears throat> Okay, I'm trying to lay my stuff over here so I can see what I still have left to do because I'm forgetful and I'll forget to do something. You can hold me to that. Eyebrows. And this is again just a stick that I got in my boxy charm a little while back. Um, I do not do fancy brows by any means I just try to fill in my little bald spots I am currently I guess you could say trying to grow them out so I can get an actual shape to them and I really want to look into microblading like it looks so pretty and I've never had good eyebrows because I have little bald spots all over the place in them so I kind of think I'd be into that but who knows I have nice bushy brows as it is <clears throat> okay so now that the brows are done I'm gonna go ahead and put on some blush um, I just got this out of an ipsy a few months back uh, yeah this is a blush brush I can take it swirl it I do love this it's just got like this really nice pink color to it. It's not too crazy, even when you get a lot of pigment out on it. Okay. And uh, this next thing I want to try, I've heard, well, I've seen, rather, uh, Kathleen Lotz uses this all the time, so if you watch her, you'll know. I have never owned an affordable highlight. That's one of those things that I never even used until I get into hiring makeup. So, when I was at Walmart today, looking for my airspun, I saw this, and I thought about how much she loves it, and I thought, why don't we try it? So I'm going to swatch it real quick just for my benefit. It's got a whole lot of pigment. It looks like it would be just kind of a subtle highlight. So I'm going to use this brush so I can get it more precise. I'm just going to pick some up. Oh, pretty. And I'm going to put it here. And I always end up over doing my highlight because I don't, I don't know if I'm just like crazy or what. But it's like I can't ever see it until it's like way too much. So I'm probably going to go and dust some of this off in a second. So I'm just going to already put it on my cheeks. So now I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose. Right there. Looks good. And all we've got left is lips and lashes. So for lashes, I'm finally giving in. And I'm trying Lash Paradise. I hated Better Than Sex mascara. Now don't get me wrong, I have never tried the original. I hated the waterproof. And it wasn't so much that it went on bad, which in my personal opinion, for me, it did go on kind of bad but it was a, it wouldn't come off like I would lose lashes trying to get that off of my face which is just not ever something you want in a product or at least I don't 
and it would always get clumpy really quick and that just doesn't quite work for me because you know when I pay that much for a mascara I really want it to perform well it looks like this is pretty good actually especially for just being ten dollars and I can pick it up at Walmart which is always far more convenient and by the way I don't know if y'all have these issues there's about a thousand things that I only do well on my right eye like eyeliner and depending on the look I'm going for eyeshadow but with mascara it's always better on my left eye and I have no clue why I guess it's just the angles but it's always always better on my left eye and I just screwed up and got mascara on my face not like under my eye like right here I think I got it off though but it's not the most impressive thing I've ever seen but I do think me and Lash Paradise could be friends <clears throat> and I just realized I forgot my eyeliner so we're gonna attempt this my camera's going dead so if I leave y'all it wasn't on purpose I promise That good. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So what we're gonna do is cat eye this. Ugh. I hate having hooded eyes like nothing is ever how I want it to be so we're gonna get into this and try to fill this in and we're just gonna bring it up a little more like a very very thin line up when I close my eyes it's gonna look wonderful but when I open them it's like not even there so it's okay okay left eye time if y'all can't see me well I apologize I'm just gonna go ahead and do that because you probably won't be able to see me very well Trying to figure out exactly where this <sighs> I'm struggling guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, so when they're open, it makes sense. When they're closed, not so much. <clears throat> but that's okay. We're close. So I'm gonna hop off camera, make another video for y'all. It's a sh surprise. Um, while well, I put on my lips, if you'd like a hint, the video is about lips. Um, and I'll be back with the lips and the final look, and we'll see what we think. See y'all in a second. All right, guys, so this is going to be our final look. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down there. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on those notifications. I try to post every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Uh, don't hold me to that, but that's the schedule I'm going with for now. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this quick little get ready with me tutorial review and such um i'll link that palette that i use down in the subscription if you'd be interested and uh have a good day guys
Bye.